All right, so we've all been there. You've been scrolling through Reddit posts all day looking for that post that it's gonna keep you occupado for like 10 more minutes. And then after a while, it just seems like you just can't hold on. And your hand just feels like it's gonna fall off. And that's because ever since like the first Xerox Alto came out in 1973, the, the shape of the mouse really hasn't changed much at all. You know how they work changed. They went from optical sensors, from balls to, you know, just about everywhere. But the physical design of the mouse has stayed pretty constant over the years. Except for a few companies. A few companies are thinking outside the box and are taking a more ergonomical approach to today's mice. So, you know, I thought about, I wonder if they actually work. So I decided to pick one up, give it a go. So we'll take a look at what I decided to get and we'll find out if it does anything at all. All right, so let's get out ahead of this one right out the gate. I know that this box uh, doesn't really look like the box we just had a minute ago. Well, that's because uh, I opened up that box and it actually ended up being something else I ordered, which was uh, batteries for my camera. So that was weird. But now today we should have the correct package. So let's tear it open, see what, see what we got. Uh, honestly, I can't remember exactly what ergonomic mouse I ordered, because uh, I don't really expect it to do much and not use it too often. But, you know, we'll figure it out together. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at the fancy packaging. There you go. Nice. So. Looks like I bought myself an Anchor. Looks like I bought that brand. Uh. It does look really weird in person. I was looking for something that did the ergonomic type deal the, the, that everybody you see now on mice. So I wanted something that looked different, but didn't look too outrageous that I didn't want to be able to use it. So this is what I landed on. So we'll see how this uh, looks. Let's first, let's open it up and see exactly what we're dealing with here. All right, so also I got the, you know, I got the wireless version because I am going to use this at work and I do like wireless mouse mice at work uh, for wired for gaming, but this is not going to be a gaming mouse. Maybe I'll try it in gaming, see how it works, but I don't expect it to be good. But you never know, could be wrong, could be amazing. So this is the Ankier 2.4 gigahertz wireless vertical mouse. So look how fancy, I guess a ba black mouse pad, not the best choice here. Con contrast. So, woo. You know, actually, it surprisingly feels pretty good just holding it like this, but uh, you know, I'm going to use it for a couple days and we'll come back to see just how good it is. I don't think there's any, did they not send the batteries? They have cheap sons of bees. No batteries. Well, that's a bummer. Like all mice, this one comes with your standard scroll wheel, your right and left click buttons. But if you notice, you know, they favor the high side of this mouse since it's one of those vertical fancy ergo mice. Okay, so in addition to your scroll wheel and your right and left mouse button, you also have your next page button, your last page button, and on the top, you got your DPI switch. All right, so the main reason I bought this mouse to give it a go was to try out its ergonomic feel. So the package is claiming here the ergonomic is scientifically designed to encourage healthy and natural wrist and arm position for a smoother movement and less overall strain. So this is also a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse, uh, vertical mouse technically. Uh, the dongle is here on the bottom for nice easy storage. But it isn't covered by the battery tray so uh, I can see myself losing it because it's what I do. I lose stuff. But, you know, let's not knock it until we try it. So I'm going to use this mouse for a couple days and I'll come back with what I think about its use. And we're back. So, I've been using this mouse for a few days now. And what do I, what do I think about it? Well, uh, surprisingly, I actually don't hate it. I, when I was originally looking at, you know, a vertical mouse to get, I was like, mm, this is looking pretty gimmicky, but I'll give it, let me get one just to see what, it, what, what it's all about. But surprisingly, you know, uh, for the most part, I, I like it, but you know, am I going to keep using it? Uh, no. But you know, a few things about it that I like. Uh, for one, uh, it has sleep mode. So another mouse I use all the time is a, a Logitech old gaming mouse that I use at work a lot. And uh, something I do a lot is I leave it on when I leave for the day and I come back and then I have to charge it. So it, it does have chargeable, rechargeable batteries is a good thing, but I always leave it on 
and it dies. This mouse, if you leave it sit unattended for, uh, it seems around five, 10 minutes, it kind of goes into a sleep mode. And even when you come back, if you move it around, it still doesn't wake up. You need to actually click on, you know, one of the mouse buttons and then it springs back to life and it works. So that's, you know, that's a pretty cool feature. Now, especially because this doesn't have, you know, rechargeable batteries, which is a big thing, uh, which is another downside of this is that you can't, you know, it doesn't have anywhere to plug into it and it doesn't have rechargeable batteries. Uh, the mouse, the clicking functions on this mouse, they, they feel nice. They're, you know, they, they feel responsive. Uh, so I did, I did like, you know, the actual feel of clicking on the mouse. Um, you know, it didn't have any, there was no latency that I could notice between, you know, moving the mouse and seeing the cursor move on the screen. Uh, and the thumb buttons. Right, so these thumb buttons on this mouse are actually placed pretty well. So when you put your, uh, your thumb in there, you know, it just happens to fall, you know, nicely to where those buttons are. So I did like that, where the, the thumb buttons were. Uh, what I didn't like is that the buttons, you know, couldn't be programmed. So they're page forward, page back, which is nice for surfing the internet. But uh, at work, I like to have my uh, thumb buttons, you know, the mouse I use now has four thumb buttons. I used to like to use it for copy and paste uh, and some other functions because I use it a, a lot with AutoCAD uh, and SolidWorks and it helps out, you know, be able to be productive quicker. But, you know, they, the, the mouse buttons are, you know, in a good spot, but there's no software anywhere to control what they do. Uh, this button, you know, all it does is control the DPI setting, which is, you know, which is nice. It, you can change it. Uh, I always left it, I think, on the medium setting. Low was all right too, um, but for what I normally do at work, uh, I like the medium setting. Uh, the matte finish on this, so the matte finish has a nice feel to it, so, you know, the mouse just, it has a soft, nice feel, so I, I like that about it too. A couple other things I didn't like though is that uh, the mouse is real light, so, you know, uh, I don't know why, it's just personal preference, uh, I'm not a big fan of light mice, I like them to have a little bit more weight to them. Uh, this one. Especially without the batteries in it, it's very, very light. I don't really like it too much. Uh, we already talked about, I don't like that it's not rechargeable. So that's a bummer because you're gonna have to replace these batteries. And inside of it, you know, you got two, two AAA batteries. So that's, you know, a bummer because batteries are overly expensive anyway. So you gotta have to replace those when they die. So having rechargeable batteries would be a bonus as well. Uh, another thing I didn't really like was the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel, you know, the way, when your hand is sitting on the mouse, you know, like this on your desk, it wants to fall, you know, towards the bottom of your desk, which puts this mouse wheel, you know, obviously they put it to be between your fingers, but it just feels awkward to get to, either, get to it with either finger. So if you get with your middle finger, you get with your pointer finger, it just feels awkward. And I found myself using my middle finger more often. And normally I use my pointer finger. So it takes a little bit getting used to uh, scrolling with your middle finger. Not that big of a deal, but it was just something I noticed. But I did notice is that, you know, in a normal mouse, you're, you push down, so your thumb kind of hangs off to the side here. It doesn't really do much. Uh, with this one, though, you're kind of, you're pinching it. You're pinching it between your fingers. So I did notice that, like, in the first day, my thumb was getting tired because I was clicking and having to push, you know, pinch it, and my thumb was just not used to doing anything weird like that. So that was just something that the next day was not a big deal, but, you know, something weird that I didn't expect, but how uh, it happened. But for the most part, uh, I did like this mouse. I like the design. Uh, I would keep using it if, you know, like I said, there was more buttons uh, for my thumb, at least four, and then I had additional buttons up top. And I need those to be programmable so I can program to copy and paste, delete, um, you know, the things I normally use at work. But all in all, uh, would I recommend this mouse? Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't care about programming your buttons, uh, this mouse is actually, it, it, you know, Surprisingly feels very good in your hands and you don't care about not having rechargeable batteries. It's actually a pretty good mouse and I did like using it, uh, but uh, I would use a mouse that was this shape and this design if it just had a few more features that I was looking for. So in a nutshell, still a good mouse. Uh, would recommend it if you're looking for an ergonomic mouse uh, because it seems like these scientists knew what they were doing because this thing actually is pretty good. So, thanks for watching, and if, uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one.